don't have a net. Oh my gosh. Looks like we got our bait bag. Oh my gosh. Hey, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to River Blood. Out here catfishing today. Got the boat down here on the Ohio River. About to put in here at World Sketchiest Boat Ramp. If you've seen my channel before, you know this is a crazy boat ramp. Putting in right here on the river bank. Boat ramp's completely crumbled. Let's just hope my four-wheel drive's working. But anyway, got the boat out here today. It's October. Beautiful morning. There's not a whole lot of current. But we're hoping to suspend, maybe suspend drift and try to get on some fish today. Maybe hybrid, skipjack, whatever we can come up with today. But also going to be water testing the uh, the boat. We got the new, new to me, uh, Johnson 115 on there. I've been working on it, getting it all tuned in where I want it. Blew the other motor. Definitely back on the water. We're going to see what she's got today and see how it handles. got some eight ounce bank sinkers I've also got some eight ounce egg sinkers but these are just easier to change out in my opinion that's why we use them let's suspend some baits nose hook that guy a little bit sideways I feel like that helps when you hook it sideways I'm just glad to be back out here fishing that's for sure I did mark some fish suspended. You see how I hooked that a little bit sideways? That keeps the bait from turning over and hooking itself again. For you new guys, even if you're bank fishing, you don't want that bait turning in on itself or Finding a fish scale on there. Every good cat fisherman's gonna tell you that. No secret. All right, a couple more poles to rig up. And we're fishing. I need some biscuits and gravy. I'm getting ready to eat that before it gets cold and some bacon. There's a fish right there, y'all. He was getting hammered. Well, let's see if he's there. Yep, he is there. He's on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's digging. Oh yeah, I love that. He's got some good fight to him. You know what, I didn't bring my net. Oh no. I don't have a net or fish grips. It's all right, we'll get him. Oh yeah, holy moly. Thank you guys. And I don't have a net. Oh my gosh. It's gonna have to wear him out so he don't roll on me when I try to grab him. Got some guys across from me there. 
bumping for uh, catfish and they've been catching a few. But we are suspended. That's what I like to do up here close to the dam in this current suspend. So, man, that's a good fish. He's blowing bubbles. This is uh, 40 feet of water. I hope he's hooked good. Good one, man. He somehow got my other line. From this side of the boat. He's got that line. I see him braid. All right, buddy, I'll let you go. Oh, he's got me all wrapped up in that other braid. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Got him. Holy moly. Skin hooked. There he is. Really good blue there. Nice. Get untangled and do this again. Just got smacked. I'm getting ready to drop this back down. Put a 10 knot hook on this time. I'm gonna do the same on the other pole. This current's a little stronger over here. Yeah, so what I do here is I just reel down to the water about four times, pick up on that, and that bait's just suspended off the bottom. It looks like a bunch of fish stacked up in there. A lot of gar up top, and I'm hoping that's some catfish down there at the bottom. You can see my baits running through there. You see that? He's buried. It's a good catfish. See. Oh, he's hooked much better at that 10-ounce circle hook. There we go. It's right by the tail. That's about a fun sizer there. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, let's get him back. Yeah, I definitely need to restock on some of them bigger hooks. There we 
go. Wrecking them today. They ain't turned the camera off yet. I'm telling y'all, suspend them in October when that water starts to cool off. And you will have way more success. We're burning them up. Well, three in a short amount of time. He's just twirling in the current. Another good one. Get up here. So much fun, heavy, dense little fish. Say so he's hooked good too. Easy there, fella. Got him. I'll tell you what. That's nice when you don't even have to turn the camera off. There we go. Another one. All right, let's go ahead and get him back. Flathead. We'll put him on camera. That's a boat flip. fish to catch. One of the hardest fighting, that's for sure. Right. Look what I did. I ripped my coil wire off. When I pulled the cowling off, when I did the choke this morning. And I was like, oh, I'll just ease up here. And fish, so now I gotta fix that. <sighs> it's always something. Let me get this fixed. Anyway, I got that fixed. to adjust the uh, idle and the timing. Sucks doing that out here on the water. But we're about to give her a good rip.
All right, y'all, so I got the boat back on the trailer. Got the motor running pretty good. Still got to go home and dial it in a little bit. You know, I had a pretty fun afternoon just getting back out here in the water, catching some fall catfish up here at the dam. One of my favorite spots to fish, but I appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm gonna go ahead and get home and figure out what I'm gonna do. Maybe order a new coil for this. If I got enough time, maybe come out tomorrow evening, try the evening bite, uh, see how that pans out for us. Appreciate y'all watching, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.